Today, we will show you what a construction hair dryer is capable of. Unscrew the power to full and turn it on. As soon as the hair dryer warmed up, it's time to start our experiments. To begin with, we will direct the hair dryer to the ceiling and leave the ping pong ball in its airflow. At first, it moves in the same way as with the regular hair dryer, but suddenly it begins to deform quite rapidly. Finally, the ball falls on the table and begins to smoke heavily. And then a huge bright flash of flame. Though, only for a second. Let's repeat again. We put the ball. At first, it just floats. Then, the deformation begins. The bigger it is, the higher the ball rises. Until finally, it falls out of stream once again. Again, the same story. The stronger the deformation, the higher the ball soars. But in the end, it still falls. Look it up close. It gradually swells like a grain of popcorn during frying. And then, when the shape is too uneven, it simply falls under its weight. And now we have managed to repeat the same result at the first attempt while the ball is smoking. And in a matter of seconds, all traces of the ball are erased. In fact, everything can be made easier by piercing the ball with the screwdriver and placing it under the hair dryer. It starts to melt, then a huge amount of smoke, but without fire this time. Let's try again. We direct the hair dryer perpendicular to the screwdriver and the process goes faster. First it melts, then a bunch of smoke, and finally fire. And balls are much more dangerous than you thought. We pinch a match in a vise and point a construction hair dryer at it. It lights up and goes out just as quickly. And what if you pinch all the matches out of the box? Matches light up in a chain reaction in a second. Here are the slow motion shots. It can be seen that the fire sweeps through all the matches very quickly. Look again, a second flash, and they go out. Let's try to heat a whole box. We bring the hair dryer, nothing seems to happen. But then it starts to darken, and then a flash of fire from inside. It's burned out all the matches. Let's open it and make sure that none of them survived. It's the lighter's turn. Let's bring a hairdryer to it and see what happens. Everything is calm and then there's a shot literally in a second. Look in slow motion, as soon as the plastic melted, the gas bursted out and threw the lighter away. It's the same result every time. Let's try to squeeze it in a vise. We heat the lighter. There's an explosion. Then another one. But in the end, the gas just evaporates from the lighter. On the second attempt, the same result when there is no gas. The plastic just melts.
Unfortunately, it was not possible to cause a fire, but we don't give up. We simply increase the number of lighters. As many as five lighters in a vise. Turn on the hair dryer. We warm them up evenly. Here's one explosion after another, but again, no fire or even smoke. It seems that lighters are quite safe without a spark, except for a powerful clap from the release of gas. Take a roll of toilet paper. Let's see what our hair dryer will do with it. The video will have to be accelerated because the process was not fast. You can see that the paper is gradually changing color, but there's no fire yet. But we're not going to give up. Let's direct all the heat to one point. After four minutes, smoke appears, which means there will be a fire. Finally, the paper breaks out. It will burn for a long time. Look at how it will gradually decrease while it burns through layer by layer. We better put it out by removing the oxygen with the glass bulb. But the spectacle turned out to be very interesting and could not be taken away. Let's take a can of Coca-Cola and put a hair dryer next to it at full power. It will have to wait for some time. Even a construction hair dryer would not warm it up so quickly. After almost six minutes, the jar finally gives in, or rather, the liquid inside splashes out tearing off the top part. Look at this fountain in slow motion. What a powerful splash. The foam soared almost to the ceiling and now it's smoking. The cola is so hot. Look at what a perfect slice turned out. Okay, it's time to move on to a glass bottle. Install a hair dryer and watch. As you can see, during the heating process, the volume of the cola seems to increase. After eight and a half minutes, we finally get a result. A huge fountain of cola shoots out of the bottle, knocking out the cork. Look how beautiful it looks in slow motion. The foam hits the ceiling, scatter all over the studio. The fountain turned out really huge, and then it turned into a rain of cola. Look how little cola is left in the bottle. Almost all of it was released after heating. Yeah, boiling soda is no joke.